This is the Feral Rage tech guy. I was thinking of teching... I kind of tried this before. I'm not sure how well it works. What I tried was teching Earth and Scales in. Uh, I ended up thinking just like Darter MC tech is probably better because you, it's so hard to heal for enough, like no matter how much you heal. He barely healed for enough last game. So I think that might have been just better to go for Dirty Rat to pull Velen with maybe a better odds. He has coins, so... Hmm. There is some incentive to potentially passing here in Blood Mage plus shield. But since he has coin, he has Wall Growth and Jade Blossom, and I don't, I don't think it's worth it because he almost never hero powers here. And plus Priest of Feast plus Power Shield is pretty nice, getting a 3-8. Good card to see. This really makes us want to shield the crawler because we have a four and a five, like we have no time to shield. Doesn't really do anything technically, but it kind of does. Contest Jade Blossom better. Kill the one one, then kill the two two and still survive. How do you play around Geist? I don't play around Geist as this deck. That'd be more of a question for Jade Druid. The priest. It's actually like mildly thinking about playing Acolyte because getting cards is good. He can always suicide the one one though, so it doesn't make sense. And plus, we can combo Acolyte with Power Mancer and um, Spear Lash later. It's just so much nicer to have bigger minions here. Oh, this is super awkward for Raza. We lose our best pain target if we don't pain here. Then he can start value trading in the 3 6, and then the pain doesn't become as good. His Jade is at 4 now. Oh, that could still just play Pain Acolyte and double trade. It does seem potentially better. Nothing for us to really trade and heal. Everything is kind of weird. This is going here for sure. It's a shuffle, so the second aisle shuffled. It's at five right now. There's not a great way for us to guarantee this act like getting more cards uh, because of this dynamic of his jades being at 5. It's hard for him to play Spirit, but then turn 9 he oftentimes plays Death Knight and Hero Power. So is that a reason to do it some other way? Here, let's do this. I get the heal here, so... You can donate to me, what do you mean? Can you still donate at you? If you want. Let's continue our plan. I guess we could draw first. His breaker. We should probably draw first here. If we want to cast five mana potion, need to act this turn. If I play Gnomish, I can play like a couple of small minions. I guess Cleric is okay. 
Acolyte's gone. It seems like it's better to do five here. His Jade's... His Jade is at five. It's hard to clear the five fives out. But anything that draws is pretty nice. If I had Radiant, 100% sure I would take one mana potion, but right here with just the gadget and not a lot of cheap spells to combo gadget right now, I don't think we start off with a one mana potion because it's too hard to make that decision to go gadget one mana here. Barely does. It's not really great enough here, but if we wait next turn, it's going to be even more awkward because the next Jade's at 6 and 7. We're never going to clear here. So I feel like we just take the draw. Smite's worth a lot of damage, just 28 damage with Velen Mind Blast Smite if we get uh, Shadow Reaper off. And I have AoE next turn. If I draw Shadow Reaper, it's AoEing the 5 1, as well as Nova's a likely turn. I don't have great cards here, so I'm likely Nomish, Nomish plus, plus Nova this turn. Although we can also combo the 1 mana Smite with Auctioneer. Like This is a pretty tempting turn as well, either way. Let's see, Nova removes 7 attack off. Whereas, if I do a gadget move, what can I do? Gadget, Lash, Smite? That still removes 7, I believe. 8, 8, eight attack. They're pretty similar. I can silence the cycle, uh, the silence as well, which isn't even necessarily a good thing with Aya still being left, so I think I like this more. Let's draw first here. Shadow Visions. Dragonfire left. His is 7 though, so that's not gonna happen. We just need to find Shadow Reaper. That's that can help us. That's like dual pronged, right? Likely just Nova here. But let me just think a little bit. Yeah, because Shadow, Shadow Reaper is both offensive and defensive. Starts killing him and it kills all his development this turn. It in. This is last one, maybe. Oh, he didn't want to overcommit, so he can draw again next turn. Dragonfire is a full clear here with the smite. Can we get away with some kind of like gadget move here? Yeah, we can definitely get away with it. A little bit more time for to get Shadow Reaper here before I'm just dead. He's cycling so hard for his idols, so it's really, really important for us. 
to get Shadow Reaper. There we go. We have a heal here. Um, there's no AoE for us next turn, and, but we have Lash. I feel like we should set up for this Lash here. As far as how important it is to play North Shore, North Shore is useless here. But then again, it's not useful to play it either. Actually, forget that. We're just going to face. I have 30 damage next turn. 32 with silence. Assuming there's an other minion to silence, which there should be here for sure. There's no way he can trade off the board. He has 29 here, so he's dead. 